Nelson, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, mister? I'm great, teacher. Okay, okay. How was your day? Mm, was good, teacher, because uh, we, we leave work and before an hour. Okay. Oh, one hour the, before. Yes, for the for the raining. Oh well, that's nice. You were able to yes. be home earlier. Yes, teacher. Yeah, so I get good. I get. So I get I get home. I got more home. early. More early. No, no more early. I got home earlier. 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 Can you can you write, teacher? Yeah, sure. It's like this. Earlier. Ah, okay. Thank you, teacher. That's nice. So what time did you finish working today? I finished working at 3.45 p.m. That's nice. What time did you get yeah. home? Mm, I get home at, at the same time, teacher, at 5.30. Because I went to another place. Okay. Well. That's interesting. Yes, teacher. Okay. Is, is raining there, teacher? No. What about in your place? For the moment, no, teacher. But in, in the street, to El Salvador, how do you say the Slavic? Light. Slight. Yep. Yes. Yeah, in some Hello, places. Teacher. Hello, Carlos. In some places they told me it's been like that. It's difficult, right? Yes, but it's difficult. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. Let's hope everybody here is okay. Welcome, Antonio, and nice having you here. Mire, Thank teacher. Yo estoy todavía aquí en el en el trabajo. Que voy a estar una media hora conectado y me conecto. Just just let me know as soon as you're ready. Okay, no problem. Okay, gracias. No problem, Mister. Let's see, Mister Abrego. Good evening. Oops, he went away. Let's see, Veronica. Hello, Veronica, how you doing? Any better? Hello, teacher, a little better. A little bit better, that's nice, that's nice. Excellent, I'm so happy to hear that. Because to take is something that I hate. I remember, I remember no, no, having, no, no. oh, I am happy that you are getting better because toothache is ah. something I hate. I remember, you, I remember, uh, I remember having big, big, terrible pain due to toothache and it's uh, <laughs> terrible. It is terrible. Well, welcome to the class, Veronica. So happy to have you here. Thank you. Let's see. 
Hey, Xiomara, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good. Okay, we were missing you yesterday. Uh, yes, because it was raining a lot and my internet was slow, very slow. Very yeah, well. So sad to hear that. But the good thing is that you are here today. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. And let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me just get, okay, like this is better. So let's see who else is around. Oscar, hello, Oscar, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. Fine. Good evening. Good uh, fine. Okay, how was your day? Uh, a lot of busy. Really? Uh, yeah, hello, Ray. Um, hello, work. Yeah, I can, imagine, I can imagine it's been terrible, but good to have you here. Welcome. Thank you. Jeff. Okay, let's see who else, who else, who else is around. Uh, Mailing, hello, Mailing. How are you? Hello, teacher. Um, good. Come on. You go like <laughs> good. Good. Sir, I'm new? Tell me. I'm here. <laughs> okay. How was your day? What did you do today? Um, I do nothing. <laughs> you did. I only rested. Um. Oh, you didn't go to work today. Um, no. Um, I am vacation. <laughs> oh my gosh, on oh, vacation? Yes. That's so cool. Now tell me, tell me, tell me. I want to know, uh, oops, I have a question for you. Okay, how many days left do you have on your vacation? I have only eight eight days. Oh, yes. Eight more days. Tomorrow and the next week. Okay. Oh. Tomorrow and next week. Well, that's a little bit. Yes. <laughs> That's a little bit because I mean it is a little bit. That's nice. So, and what's the plan? Are you gonna do something special? I think travel um to Guatemala. Okay, when you going? But I don't have idea. <laughs> no. Okay, don't miss class. Don't miss classes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, welcome to the class. Nice having you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see, Mr. Abrego, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Pretty good, teacher. Hey, yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see. That's nice. And tell me, how was your day, Carlos? Uh, excuse me. How was your day? What did you do today? Anything special? Um, um, much, uh, much job. A lot of work. A lot of work. Um, and, uh, 
And, and then and they will hang on the picture. Okay, well, the good thing is that you're here in class. Welcome, nice having you here. Luis Antonio, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. As far as I can see, you are still working, my friend. In this moment in my workplace. Oh, so sorry yes. to hear that. What time are you gonna finish? What? At what time are you going to finish? In, for example, yesterday at 10 p.m. Oh my gosh. Yes, and I, I for example, in, in this day, I was working in accounting. Oh, really? Yes. Accounting, uh, taxes. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. I know yes, now who yes. am I going to ask. Oh, I am <laughs> suffering with that subject. Yo estoy sufriendo con esa materia. Believe ah, me. Okay. It's, it's yes, terrible yes. for me. Uh, it's, I think it's the hardest subject for me ever. Yes, it's, it's difficult. Difficult. Yeah, I mean, right now that thing of the something that you do right at the middle of the year, it's crazy. And I don't know how do they call it. Lo que hacen a medio año, recuste, recalculo. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> yes. Yes, teacher. Uh, but crazy. I ready for the class. That's nice. Good to have you here. Let me know if you are able to participate. Okay. okay Thank you. Teacher. Welcome. Thank you. Thank no, you. Thanks to you. So let's see. Uh, 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 Carla. Hello, Carla. Hello, teacher. Where were you yesterday, Carla? I was waiting for you. Um. Uh, much uh, work a lot of work a lot work. of work yeah i even texted you lo que le escribí yeah i texted you yes um ayer no me pude conectar teacher porque me pasó un accidente cuando venía en el bus oh. y me puse un poquito mal de los nervios entonces <clears throat> pero ya 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 me siento mejor so sorry to hear that, but so nice to have you here. Welcome to the class, Carla. Okay. Okay, now guys, let me get the attendant before we move on. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. Present. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present, teacher. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present, teacher. Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Hernández. Present, teacher. Yvette Lisette Figueroa de Calles. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present, teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. I'm here, teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present, teacher. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Present, teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Salvador Alexander López García. Present. Salvador Emilio de León Fuentes. Verónica Arelí Achala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros. Present teacher. Thank you, Wilfredo. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Josué Chavez. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Now, let's see. What are we going to do? Mm -hmm. The first activity. Okay. I got a, quest a couple of questions that I need you to start thinking about. Okay. And I'm going to share with you. Okay. Can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? What specific benefits do you provide to your company? Okay. What is special from you? Or what specifically you do that is a big benefit for the company? Okay. I want you to think about it. Why? Because we are going to start the class. Well, welcome all of you. I'm sorry. Today we have many, many things to do. So we're going to be, be moving along doing different activities. Right now, I'm going to send you to groups, but the activity is going to, to be developed as it follows. I'm going to send you to the groups. You're going to have three minutes with the persons you are sharing the information. Then I'm going to switch groups. I want to switch you so you can listen to other people expressing themselves. And I'm going to be jumping from group to group, okay? So today we are going to start changing changing a little bit the, 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 the way in which we do, we perform some activities. Okay, that's why the groups are going to be very, very small. Right now it's going to be in pairs. You just tell the other person, receive the information and then switch, okay? Three minutes and then switch. Ready guys? Let's do it. Luis Mario, I guess you're having problems with connection. Hello. Oh, now good I evening, Mario. Nice. Hi, good, good evening. Now How we lost are you, the teacher? Friend. I'm just fine. I'm just fine. But I guess we're having problems with the connection. Oh, you're still on your way home. Yeah. I am going to, to my house. Okay, okay. Well, there's Wilfredo here. Perhaps Wilfredo can speak about himself and you just listen, Luis Mario. Okay. Remember, Wilfredo, you are telling your classmate what you do in your company that is good for the company. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que usted hace en la compañía que es bueno para la compañía? Hello. ¿Qué pasó? Antes te vas a ir. Hello. Hello. Hello, no, Carlo. Be on time, yeah. That's good. That's good to be on time. is very important. Excellent. So you are doing the exercise. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Let me go check the rest of. Coffee, fresh and free coffee. Ah, uh, free, free coffee, free coffee in the company. Where, where, uh, where? Fresh and free coffee. Where's free coffee? I want some. Yeah, you're telling about free coffee? Yeah. I mean. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I mean, all the uh -huh. time. If there's free coffee, come in. 
the next benefit, Ivania? Um, okay, oh. but now I want you to think about what you do in the company that is a benefit for the company. Como teacher? What you do that is a benefit for the company. Lo que usted hace que es beneficioso para la compañía. Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay. In my case, send information to other people. Maybe interesting in how do you say donar? Dinero? Donate. Donate money uh, in this company. You, Ivania? Misión de la compañía, no. What does your company do? What does your company do then? ¿Qué es lo que hace su compañía? Hola. What does your company do? ¿Qué hace la compañía? Ah, uh, ok. In my case, uh, the company in, in I work, I work in, in, uh, in in labels, in oh. empresas. In, oh, I work okay. in, in a company is the print labels. And, and my my work is um, in programar, programar. Okay, it's the program. Program um, orders. Uh, with the with the customer and the que los clientes piden okay what the customers demand okay with with the customer demands uh, this is my job okay demands no i'm sorry request request um, yeah that's the, the customer most uh, that's the, the customer request uh, this oh. is this is my this is my my job. That's a, that's a specifically what you do. Eso es específicamente lo que hace. Okay. Yes. So uh -huh. what you do is beneficial for the company. Lo que usted hace es muy beneficioso para la compañía. Yes, yes, yes um, I programmer orders, programmer order orders or order de compra. Okay, purchase order. Yes, um, this, this is my job in, in the company. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay, let's see. Well, it's time to switch groups, okay? Okay. Okay, let's see as soon as everybody comes back, we are going to change groups. Okay. We're going to switch the members on the group from the groups. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Every task. And ten, nine. Okay, let's see. Okay, perfect. Yeah. 
I'm coming. Now, good night, teacher. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. Okay. Okay. Groups are created again. New groups. Share information. Remember, what you need to do is to tell your classmates what you do in your company that is beneficial for the company. Usted le cuenta a su compañero qué es lo que usted hace en la compañía que beneficia a la compañía. Okay? So, groups are open. Three minutes and then we're back. No, Wilfredo, what happened to your group? Hey, teacher. No sé si tengo un problema con el internet. Um... Hello. Hola. Hola. Y la tercera sería eh, meet a uh, world a day um, of the month. Eh, cumplir un, eh, con una meta al final del mes. A goal. A goal. At the end of the month. Uh -huh. and, and the end on the month. And you? And you, you, sería que um, como como mi 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 puesto es como como encargado de un grupo, vea, es
Okay, let's see, everybody's coming back. Okay, let's see. Now guys, well, first off, I'm going to model for you the conversation we have in the in the manual. We are going to go right straight to the manual. We're gonna be working in page number 11. That's the interfer manual. And let's see, let's see, let me share with you. Okay, this is the conversation we are having. The instruction as usual are, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Okay, the conversation goes as follows. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring can you bring to this company as an employee? I'm sorry, in this case it's not look, it is what? Look, look, right here, you need the word what? Let me. Here they are missing one word. The word is what? Okay. And the position of the word is uh, uh, um, it's right here. Got it? So let's see, it goes like this. I am sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great, yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. I repeat, Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great, yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, I will repeat one last time. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir, with my experience. I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look. What can you bring? to this company 
as an employee. I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes. And because of my experience, as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, guys, now we go to the groups in order to practice. Now, we are going to participate in groups of three members, okay? So right now you are going to be practicing in groups of three members. You got a recording in the WhatsApp. So if you can, you can be listening and perhaps listening to your classmates. And if there's any correction, stop them and correct. We are going to do peer correction. Okay, that's called peer correction. When we correct between each others, okay? So if you notice that your classmate is mispronouncing something, stop him and give him the correct pronunciation, okay? That's something else that is going to be changing. We are going to be working in bigger groups in order to have more interaction among yourselves. Please, no Spanish, okay? Remember, right now it's just practicing. You will have five minutes for practicing because I wanna hear a good pronunciation. Let's do it. Any question before I send you to the groups? No teacher, only, only please share the screenshot. Yeah, I will. Sure, no problem. I will in a second. Okay, no groups are open. Yes, yes. No questions. Oh, perfect, perfect. Let's do it. Hello, teacher. What happened to you, Wilfredo? I have problems with the internet, I think. Yes, because you should be in a group. I'm going to send it to the group 3 and then I'm going to go back to the group that corresponds to the 2. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Here, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Very comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say they would be a great comfort. Comfortable. 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 Comfort
Son la F y la F muy poquita. Lo que no, lo que no ponemos es esta O. La O. Comfortable. 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 Like that. Comfortable. La O ni la F. Comfortable. 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 Yeah, very short. Comfortable. Muy cortita. Comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. She did uh, think my experience. I can say they would be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Opportunity. I am sure about that. Now can you bring to this company as employees? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. 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 Construction constructions industry. Right? Yep. Perfect. Perfect. It sounds great. Yes. Oh. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in their project. Okay. okay. Here. Here. Oh, me toca a mí. Mm -hmm. Comfortable, do you feel working in the church? Comfortable, comfortable. Comfortable. Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am sure about that, but what can you bring to this? company as an employer. I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in a life in a large project. Salvador, you're ahead. Okay, other time. Kira, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Very comfortable here with me experience and can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, what can you bring to the company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It's so great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in large project. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Very comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. No. Seconds, everybody comes back. 60 seconds, guys. 60 seconds to finish. Teacher. Yes. 
this my my group is crazy. The, Why? I yo escuchaba I I hear uh -huh. the the other voice. For example, I, in my group ha, my group Ivan and Luis Mario. And yeah. I see no I hear a Rosalina, al grupo de Rosalina. Oh, really? Yeah. That's weird. It's crazy, but I try to practice, but, but I don't know what oh, happened. You, sh you should have called me, so I could have sent you to a group and then back again to your group. Uh, but when Ivan uh, activate your microphone. His microphone. 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 Uh, I hear recording other recording. people. You got an echo. Oh, it's because I know what happened. The situation is this. Ivan is connected with two devices. Ivan está conectado con dos equipos. Entonces el sistema me lo envió a dos grupos distintos. Ivan. Yes, ah, yes, Ivan. Ivan. Ah, Ivan. Ivan. Kill her. Kill him. So your cloud, it was your microphone. It wasn't your, your, your internet. I'm just checking that. Ivan appears twice on my screen. That's why. Okay, okay, let's see. Well, Ingrid and Rosalina, you start. Who? Oh, okay. Ingrid. Okay. Ingrid okay. starts. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager. I could be of great help in large projects. Perfect, ladies. Great, great. 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 Okay. Comfortable. 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 Like that. Perfect. Comfortable. 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 Perfect. Okay. Now let's see. Xiomara and Veronica. Okay. Shemara starts. Okay. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the service area? Really comfort comfortable. See, with my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, what can you bring? Can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. Oh. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in this project. Perfect. Just yes, perfect. Thank you. Ivan and Magdaleno. Uh, let's see, Ivan, you start. Thank you. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Very comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bridge to the company its employees? It would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the industry, in, in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, 
And because of my experience as a manager, I could be a, I could be of great help in large project. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Just remember, Ivan, comfortable, comfortable. Comfortable. Like that. Better. Thank you. Gabriel and Ivania. Gabriel, you start. Okay. Here, how comfortable do you feel working in the search area? Espérame, permítame que no tengo ahorita el, el manual. Uh. Ok, Ivania. It's Gabriel no, who's going to start. You start. Yeah, yeah. Está no? okay. bien. Ok. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the search area? Very comfortable. Sí. With me experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Low can you bring this company as an employee? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It's always. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in their project. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, uh, Maylin and Luis Antonio. Mister. Uh, Luis Antonio, you start, please, Mister. Okay, teacher. Carrot, how comfortable do you feel working in the silence area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say that will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Perfect, guys. Well done. Antonio and Carlos Elibaldo. Antonio, you start. Okay. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Very, very comfortable, sir. In my experience, I can say this will be a green opportunity. I am sure about that. Lou, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a green sale in the company because of my experience in the industry in con, pardon, construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, I because of my experience as a manager, I could be a green sale in large projects. No se le escucha, teacher. Thank you, uh, Elibaldo. Great, great industry. Okay, great industry. Perfect. Now let's see. Wilfredo and Salvador. Wilfredo starts. Yes. Oh. Here, how comfort do you feel working in the shares? I feel you. Very comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great, a great opportunity. I am sure about that 
was sent to this company as an employee. I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. This sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in a large project. No se le escucha, teacher. Again, I'm sorry. I don't know why this is. I'm sorry. Very well done, guys. Just uh, will further remember comfortable, comfortable. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oscar. Yes, like that. Oscar and Veronica. Yeah. Who's back? Yeah. You start, Oscar. Okay. Kira, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Veronica? Okay, I'm going to help you. Pretty comfortable, uh, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. Okay. Okay. I say my part. Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, uh, can you bring to the to this company as an employees? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It's on grace. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Thank you, Oscar. Luis, yeah. Mario, and Carla Lisette. Uh, Carla, you start. Okay. With who constable do you feel working area? Pretty comfortable. Sir, with my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, what can you bring to the company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It's so great. Yes, and because of, of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in the large projects. Okay, very well done. Luis Mario, just remember, just one little thing. Asset, asset, no asset. 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 Okay. Like that, asset. perfect. Asset. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys. Very well done. Now, oh my gosh, time for the attendance. I'm sorry. Carlos Olivaldo Abrego Marmon. Present. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Ivania Shamile Dominguez Hernández. Present teacher. Ivet Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present, teacher. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Present, teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. 
Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Present teacher. Salvadora Alexander López García. Thank you, Rosalina. Present. Salvador Emilio de León Fuentes. Verónica Arelí Achala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present teacher. Gemara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Okay, Luis Mario, I got a question for you. Tell me. Okay. In your opinion, do you consider that experience, experience is important in a job? Yes, I think because the experience is to facilitate. Facilitate. Facilitate the job. So. Okay. Very important. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now guys, what you're going to do is the following. Thank you, Luis Mario. You will be working in groups, three members. I want one answer as a group, okay? So you are not just going to discuss, you are going to write down your answer and you are going to text it to me, okay? So I want one answer as a group to that question. Do you consider that experience is important in a job? And then you tell me why, okay? If possible, give me an example. So it's a little bit more complex. I need you to not just discuss. I need you to get it on paper, get, write it down, text it to me, whatever, but send it because I wanna see what you have discussed and what was the the. the the end of your idea as a group. So, uh, here we go. Groups are open.
and the knowledge is important in a, in a job. It's my opinion. Okay, when the when the people don't don't have knowledge about this about some some one job, they can learn because I think I think so. It's important, important because it's not indispensable because they can learn that. It's my opinion. Anybody? Yes. Yes. What uh, do you think? Huh? Ivania? Teacher, ¿cuál fue la pregunta en sí? Okay, the question. The question is, do you consider that experience is important in a job? And then why? This is the question. Got it? Do you see the question, Ivani? Se la puse en el chat acá de Zoom. Sí, ahorita. Enjoy, Magdaleno. Thank you. It's envy, it is... believe me. It's envy. Es envidia. <laughs> it's Danus. Danus from Mr. Danus. Oh, that's cool. Yes. My daughter, my daughter was in the line to, to buy this, this thing. This oh, my cool. gosh. Well, that's good. That's good. Enjoy. Oh, for uh, que es difícil for, pues, para for conseguir looking trabajo. For a job. For looking for a job, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because in the in the first ways, the experience is very important for make your job. But in another way, for prof teenager professional or professional younger, don't have experience, and then uh, it's hard to looking or take a some opportunity, no? Yeah. You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. You write and, and when the teacher asks, maybe you explain. So do you agree? Agree? Yes. Okay. No comments. No comments. Comments? Yeah, the comments uh, with Xiomara. Xiomara uh, say a uh, important point. Uh, the younger, prof professional younger, don't have any experience when uh, uh, outside the university and then when looking for a job has a lot of problem because always ask about are you have experience and always say no and then close the opportunities i think it's a, a, a good point no but in another way i say the experience is very important because the experience uh, has a give a, a, a skills for development the uh, pros, process in the world or activities wherever yeah improve my okay. my, my development the job but okay, i see the point the point this camera is 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 nice also <laughs> okay write it down i need it yeah. written okay yes thank you teacher okay samarita Guys, start writing down. You have just one minute and a half. Please hurry up.
Hello, teacher. Ya de camino a casa. Perfect, perfect. That's great. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Groups, I want to hear your opinions. And let's see, group number one was Ivania Magdaleno and Salvador Alexander. Magdaleno, tell me the opinion that you got as a group. In my opinion, the experience is not important because the people can learn, can learn some, someone, someone work. Uh, do, do you get it? Yeah. The people okay. can learn. Okay. And what did your classmate think about? Salvador think, think about this, uh, this topic, the, the experience is important because the people sometimes is slow to learn and you need and you need the the the, the, the person for someone job in this in this specific moment and you don't have time to to wait for they learn and the experience is, is important for Salvador, for on Salvador opinion in these cases. Okay, perfect, thank you. Group number two, I got Carlos, Veronica and Wilfredo. Veronica, tell me, what's your opinion as a group? Is experience necessary, okay. important? Yes, it is very important because uh, you can do a more professional job and um, and you, you can do it very safety and will be a better worker and enjoy this job. Okay, perfect, thank you. Group number three, Ingrid, Ivan, Luis Mario. Luis Mario, talk to me, please. Yeah, of course. We have three sentences about the, the, this topic. Perfect. The first sentence is, it's necessary to apply a new best job. The second okay. is, it's necessary to improve your salary. And the Last one, you can teach to co-workers what to do, the different activities in the job. Okay, excellent, thank you. Antonio Rodas, Gabriel Beltran, Luis Antonio Abrego. Okay, Antonio Rodas, tell me, what's your opinion? What's your group opinion on this topic? Okay, teacher. Yes, it's important. It because through experience, the good work is guaranteed in the function of the employees. Okay. Excellent. Perfect. Okay, Rosalina, tell me what you got with your group. Okay, in, in our group, uh, think about in two ways. One way is necessary to, uh, to get the experience for development the job because depend the position in the company is necessary, but in another way, yeah. uh, Xiomara told about uh, for the younger professional, uh, when uh, looking for a job, always ask about the experience 
And then it's very difficult to get a job for that people. Okay, perfect. And Carla, Maylin, and Oscar. Kyle, uh, Maylin, talk to me, tell me. When you start the, the um, in your, how do you say in French? Company. In your company, uh, sometimes do you, do you have abilities um, um not experience because you can learn in the process but sometimes do you have experience because um it's important do you um, depend on the question okay uh, Okay, that's great. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Well done. Okay, guys. Let's see. Next activity. Okay. Now, we are going to talk a little bit about... Uh, we're going to go back to the manual, actually. And uh, we're going to see something that actually it's not new for us. This is not new, the grammar point that we are working with. Uh, and it's this, let me share with you. Okay. What we got here is how to use would be or could be. Whenever we get exactly this expression, would be, and could be, that expression is used for a possibility in the future. I will be a great asset. I could be of great help in the sales department. Remember, in this case, the key is the use of be with the, with the model, okay? So, I will be a great asset. Oh, I will be good for the company. Uh, today could be a good opportunity for us to practice. It's a possibility in the near future, but yeah, a possibility in the future, okay? Uh, Magdaleno, perhaps, uh, can we talk tomorrow about, the, the, about your projects? And Magdaleno tells me, oh yeah, tomorrow could be a good day. You see, could be. It's a possibility in the future. Like uh, in one week, could be good for us to switch activities. So we practice in a different way. Whenever we use could be or will be, we are expressing possibilities in the future. But the best way to do it is when we are using it, writing, okay? So we are going to do the exercise that appears in the manual, working again as a group. And let's see. And after that, we go to conversation, okay? Because do you remember, we always have a session in which we got conversation, but today is going to be questions and answers. I'm going to be asking questions directly to some of you. So this is the last, no, not the last one, but the last one related to the manual exercise that we are going to do right now. So you're going to have four minutes. You need to unscramble the sentences on the exercise. I am sending it to you right now to the WhatsApp group, okay? Is the exercise we got in page number 12. So groups are open.
Opportunity. Opportunity. Eh, eh, study is abroad. It is abroad. abroad. Uh -huh. And to? To? Eh, it to abroad. O oh, it to abroad, pare. Sí, sí, sí. Porque sería, <laughs> would be, uh, would be great. Vaya, le quito la. <laughs> Will be a gray. Um, porque el tú, el tú, el tú, el que lo está, lo está marcando ahí. Two opportunity. Will be a gray. Uh, Two opportunity. Two opportunity. A study. It's, It's abroad. abroad. It's abroad. Mm -hmm. Así quedaría. No sería. It will be. Porque como necesitamos un sujeto. It, no sé. Sí, sí, sí. Uh, it, 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 it's it, good it, be it. great. I study. Study. Study, <laughs> perdón. Pongámosla, pongámosla así ahorita. Vamos a ver si suena. It will be a great. A great to study. No. A great opportunity. A great opportunity. Yeah. Uh, opportunity. Opportunity. To, to study, study abroad. Uh, to study abroad. Okay, teacher, thank you. This will be a great opportunity to study abroad. Así sería, right? it would be a great opportunity to study abroad. It would be a great opportunity to study abroad. Could be our employer a training for benefits. Podría. Uh, could be our uh, employer. No, or or could be. Or could be. Or could be. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Pero estoy dudando porque podría ser old employees. Um, could be. Oh, sí, sí, sí. Nuestros be. empleados podría mm -hmm. ser. Mm -hmm. could be a training for. Our employees could be a training for benefits. Nuestros empleados. Benefits Tener una formación beneficiosa. Uh -huh. mm. no, un entrenamiento. Hay... Un entrenamiento beneficioso. O beneficioso entrenamiento. Pero como es. Or, or employees. Or employees. Could be a train. A train for benefit. Ajá.
Our employee. Employees. A train member. Or employees could be a training. Uh, a training could be. Mm -hmm. A training could be beneficial for our employees. <laughs> A training could be beneficial for our employees. <laughs> A training could be beneficial. Wait, um, finish guys no no we have we have problems with the number three and number four number so three okay i will help you with one which one do you want me to help you three or four okay four, maybe. Uh, number four. number number four number four okay weekends off will be a good option to have happy employees Okay, weekend. Weekends off will be a good option to have happy employees. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Repeat, teacher. Uh, <laughs> okay. To have. Weekends okay, off will staff, be a good option to have. Work? We, we can weekends off. Yeah, weekends off will be a good option to have happy employees. Okay, it is a problem. Pero, okay, but okay, but employees is not in the. In the staff? world. Oh, stop. Okay. You need, you need. Okay, you just need. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, it's weekends off will be a goal, a good option to have happy staff. Okay. okay. To have happy staff. Yeah. Happy. Happy staff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Hey, Maria, Maria could be of great help in in, 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 the, in, the, inventory, in the inventory department. Perfect. Inventory. Inventory. Okay, the one that is a special is number three. Uh -huh, okay. Number three. Uh, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Let's ah, go. yes, perfect. Another working, no, working. working, working. You start with working. Work. Working less hours. Working less hours. Uh -huh. Would be Would benefit. We benefit another. Another, what well, I don't understand in Spanish, the, the, the sentence. Oh, because you're thinking about working hour, working, uh, the sentence goes like, uh, working less hours will be another benefit. El trabajar menos horas seri, podría ser otro beneficio. Another benefit. Ah, okay. Benefit, another, it's another benefit. Okay. okay. Well, thank you, Peter. Okay. okay, everybody, just 60 seconds. Hurry up.
Okay, guys, let's see. This exercise was kind of interesting, right? I guess it was a little bit difficult for some of you. But let's do it together, okay? I'm going to do it with you. Let's see, it goes like this. Okay, let's see. In number one, we got number one. Number one will be as follows. Let's see. It, the subject, it would be, this is an auxiliary. What? It will be, hello guys, what? What is next? A great opportunity. A great opportunity. Okay, a great opportunity. To study to abroad. study abroad. To study abroad. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, okay. <laughs> now let's see number two. Ingrid, tell me. Um, this um maybe i don't know or employee okay mm, number two okay i don't know i or employees call b for beneficial uh, training mm, mm. what about if we start with a training look hello a training what about if we start like this? A yes, training. A yes, training. Training. Ah. training. Could be. Could be. For uh -huh. beneficial. Could be beneficial. Or employee. Or, or, or our, our employee. employees. Okay. A training could be beneficial for our employees. Okay. Thank okay, you. Magdaleno, number three. Number three. Three. Working less hours will be another benefit. Working less hours will be, will be another benefit. Another benefit. Another. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Ah, this one is beautiful. Number four. Okay, number four, guys. Let's see. Hmm. Let's start with this. Weekends off. What is next? To a start. Anybody? Will be weekends. Weekends up will be. Will be a good option. A good option. Uh huh. Help me, guys. Weekends up will be a good option. 
to have to have uh -huh. happy to have happy stuff a happy stuff weekend soft will be a good option to have a happy staff great excellent guys now the last one okay maria could be of course the auxiliary right next to the subject maria could be What? Of, of great of help. Great, of great, great help. help. Perfect. Maria could be of great help. Where? In, in the inventory department. In the inventory department. In the inventory department. Okay. A, a little bit difficult this exercise, right? Yes, teacher. Yes, very difficult. Yeah, very difficult. Okay, but this is good it. because because we need to practice and we got to practice with this exercise. Let me share with you. Let me pronounce the sentences. It will be a great opportunity to study abroad. A training could be beneficial for our employees. Working less hours will be another benefit. Weekends off will be a good option to have a happy staff. Maria could be of great help in the inventory department. Okay, questions about the phrases? Uh, teacher, uh, yes. What's the, many, what's the many weekends off? Fin de semana libre. Fin de semana libre, okay. Yeah, remem you. remember when I ask you a day off, when is your day off? It's like that, when, when, su día libre. when is your day off? So weekends off, like some of you got weekends off. Uh, Magdaleno never has a weekend off because he's always working on weekends, right? That's right. Okay, now guys, we're gonna jump to another work. activity. Okay, you okay. Now we are going to talk about people being single or people being married. Okay? So, you're going to discuss a couple of questions. You're going to be working in pairs. You will have five minutes to discuss, then we come back here and I am going to start asking directly to some of you. The questions we are going to be working with are these ones. Okay, why do you think some people remain single? Would you like to be single all your life? Do you think that, sing that single people like being single? It is better to be single or married. Why? What are the advantages of being single? Okay, you got exactly, but exactly five minutes to discuss these questions. Any doubt? Yes, what is single or me? Or me, single? Mantenerse, continuar. Okay. Okay, groups are created, guys. Yes? Can you share the... Uh question please in the group oh i will no worry okay okay five minutes hurry up
<laughs> okay. Yes. You single guys. Both of you, right? I don't. I don't not, single. You're not single? You're married? Yeah. No, no married, but I'm not single. <laughs> yeah. You either? No, I okay. uh, I, I don't. I don't okay, single. guys. Okay, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Until you get a, a, a ring here, you're single. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you're getting me in trouble, Maylin. You know, they're going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually you know it's very interesting because uh, like legally legally i mean the status is single or married but uh, socially i mean you are not single but you are not married right so it's yeah. kind of uh, there's a like a you're like in the space right now, just moving. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't, in I don't English, marry. in English, you say it. I'm in a relationship, and you refer to the other person as uh, my partner. Okay. Or you can say my boyfriend, my girlfriend. It's okay. If you are not married and you are living with that person, is your boyfriend or your girlfriend? Or you can also say my partner. Okay. But but mailing is Miss Miss Manzano. Okay. <laughs> As I told you, no ring, no miss. <laughs> You're Miss Manzano. It's remember it's cultural i mean here in our culture in latin culture i mean you are not single period and la cultura latina usted no es soltera because we are saying uh, está acompañado no living with someone está viviendo con alguien you know, but, but <laughs> in american culture you are single period you are living with somebody yes but it doesn't mean that, uh, I mean, they don't see that as something formal or steady, not as we do. Eh, no, no es visto tan serio, tan formal como en nuestra cultura. En nuestra cultura hay personas que, que vivieron acompañados toda su vida, ¿verdad? 40, 50 años. Nunca se casaron, pero estuvieron acompañados. And for us, it's formal. I mean, usted tiene what? One year living with someone. Usted tiene un año de vivir con alguien, pero están acompañados. Here it is seen as a formal relationship. Aquí se ve como algo muy formal. But in America, it's different. I mean, you're living with someone. Yes. We, how long have you been living? One, two years. Are you married? No. Okay. It's not formal. It could end tomorrow. Podría terminarse mañana. And no wonder to nobody. Nadie se asombra. As I tell you. It's interesting because when we learn the vocabulary, we are also learning the culture. So, you both are single. This is English class, so single. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll, I'll see you in the main room. Sixty seconds, guy. Ingrid. Hello, Ingrid. How are you? Great. <laughs> Single, right? 
No. Sort of in a way. <laughs> Algo así. You Man, make it. Okay. How's that? How come? <laughs> no. <laughs> I am not single. Okay, you're married. But no, but I am not married. Okay, you're living with someone. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I was I I was actually, I mean, we were having fun with uh Mailing in Salvador because we were exactly talking about that. That uh, in the States, it's simple. No ring, single. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's my case. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was explaining that in the States, I mean, there's not a ring in your finger, you're single. Period. <laughs> as simple as that. Because I was also explaining to your classmate that. Uh, it's not just the language. When you learn the language, you also learn little things about the culture. In our mm -hmm. culture, if you are living with someone, yeah. it is formal. As soon as you go live with somebody, share the house, you are sharing your life with that person, it is formal. Mm -hmm. But in the States, you, can, you could have lived with somebody like for two years, three years, you are not married and that relationship finishes and it's like, oh, cool. I mean, it's not big surprise because yeah. that relationship is not, it is accepted. Yes, of course. A lot of people live like that, but they don't see it like a big compromise. In our culture, in the other hand, if you are living with someone, it is seen as formal. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, for us, it's a bigger deal, right? For us, it's like one step, well, one step close of being married. Yeah. And to the people, to the rest of the people, uh, you are seen as somebody who's got a serious compromise and, and everything, right? But in the States, now nah, you are single. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean... No problem. Yes. Okay. Tell me, uh, why do you think some people remain single? Chen English. Okay. What? Just a second, teacher, please. Yeah, sure. Mm hmm. I don't remember the the the, the meaning the remain. Mantenerse. Uh, I think the people the people um, think the um, is not complicated is not uh, don't have complicated the the life. Mm -hmm. or, they don't want to complicate their life. Okay. Or uh, sometimes uh, different study, different life is goals different. in life. Uh, excuse me. Goals in life. Uh, goals in life is different uh the other people. Um, I think this the remain the people remain single. Okay. That's one of the reasons why people remain single. Okay, that's that's interesting. Very interesting. Mr. Chavez, you married, right? Yes, teacher. Sure. Okay, come on, man. Put more emotion. Your wife's gonna strangle you. But yeah, I am. It's late. It's late. I know, I know. Okay, okay. Now, so is it better to be single or married? Okay, let me tell you my, my answer, okay? Yeah, sure. Wow, well, castigar, teacher. Okay, Carlos, tell me, tell me. Uh, es la segunda esa, ¿verdad? Uh, no. No. Is it better to be single or married? What ah. is better for you? 
is 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 the beneficial because uh, because and sometimes it's very difficult. Uh, but I don't know what to say at, at this moment. But okay, no it's, problem, it's, no problem. It's, it's Mary is 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 cool sometimes yeah. because. Uh, that's all this year. Yeah, and sometimes it's, I mean, how long have you been married, Carlos? Uh, 10 years. Okay, you are starting, don't worry. Okay. You are in the, you are in the easy part. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, Magdaleno. So, let me teacher. Okay, okay. <clears throat> So you know both situations, being married and being single. Tell me, what are the advantages of being single from your point of view? Okay. Um, okay, but, advantage. When, 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 you have, when, when you have a wife, you have company, you have a friend, you have... Uh, you have someone who fight with you, or yeah. fight the life, no fight uh, oh, oh, with me, you that understand way. that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The both ways is right. And when you are single, uh -huh. you have the advantage that you can, you can do with your money that you want. Whatever and, you want whatever you want yes and um, when you are single you can you can have more friends more girlfriend more i don't know <laughs> you understand <Yeah>. me <laughs> no no yeah i still remember when i was single don't worry i understand you i still remember it yeah. was a long while back but i still remember it okay. yeah, far 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 away <laughs> yeah but i still remember i used to party i used to party like oh, yeah man, you don't imagine sex drugs sex drugs and alcohol the party is is a single life well i don't know mine was I don't know the rest of the people, but mine was heavy. I mean, I used to party heavy. Really? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, sure. I mean, I was living the rock and roll life, man. Yeah, I love it that. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's see, let's see. Now let's go to the single one. Let's see, who's single? Who's single? Man, Veronica, are you single? Now, yes, teacher. Come on, guys. What's that <laughs> answer? Now, yes. Okay, tell me, what are the advantages of being single? Um, no. No explain, no, okay. no discussions. And I I can uh, go to size when when cuando yo quiero. And only that. Yeah, you know, with all your with all, all your advices, uh, I got this expression is very nice. With all those advices, I am feeling for divorce. Do you know that expression? Mm. I am feeling for divorce. Es, what is voy a, Oh, lo que pasa es que usted hace en Estados Unidos cuando va a hacer ese proceso de divorciarse, va y presenta como una solicitud de divorcio. Es lo que hace el abogado. So you say it, I am feeling for divorce. Quiere decir, eh, voy a presentar un documento para Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so sorry. I was so excited with this topic. It was very, very interesting. 
and time's over. I mean, time was over two minutes ago. So sorry, so sorry, my apology. Let me get the final attendance so you can go to rest. Let's see, Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmo. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. I am here. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Yvette Lizette Figueroa de Calles. Carla Lizette García Lemos. Present. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Nelson Antonio Arrodos Rosales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Salvador Alexander López García. Present. I'm here. Salvador Emilio de León Fuentes. Verónica Arelia Echala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present teacher, good night. Have a good night, guys. Have a good one. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Gabriel. Gabriel. Gabriel, where are you? Where is Gabriel? Hello, teacher. Gabriel, can you me a second? Okay. Please, please, very please. Uh, here we go. Okay. ¿Qué tal, Gabriel? ¿Cómo vamos? Pues ahí, tratando de avanzar como la tortuga. No, 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 no. No, vamos a ver algo. Dígame. Vamos a ver algo. Uh, yo lo que necesito, Gabriel, que haga es este, tiene que ver más que todo con ejercicios de listening. Ejercicios de listening es algo que le va a ayudar a usted a, eh, a ponerse más, más al día, porque siento que eso es lo que a veces me le está afectando, que vamos hablando a un ritmo y como que el ritmo es demasiado rápido. Usted capta algunas Exacto. palabras, pero y en muchas ocasiones de que me doy cuenta que usted ha captado la idea y puede ser que captó la idea general, pero palabras específicas como que algunas se le quedan ¿verdad? exacto, sí eh, okay. ese, ese es lo que siento, que a veces siento muy no siento muy rápido y, y no capto todo o sea, me logro entender por algunas palabras a lo, lo que usted no quiso dar a entender, pero no no pues, y es normal, Gabriel Estamos en básico. Normal. Tengo alumnos de avanzado que les pasa lo mismo. Ok, le acabo de enviar un enlace. Usted lo que va a ver ahí son ejercicios de listening. Este, okay. cada, cada frasecita que está ahí en azulito es un ejercicio. El único que no me va a hacer es el primero. Dice, a day at school. Esa no. ¿Oye? A day at Pero, school. Ese no. Pero si usted se va al siguiente, el que dice a fun day. A fun day. Vaya, si usted lo abre, ¿qué tiene usted ahí? Mira? Tiene, no, no. por ejemplo, le dice cuáles son los idioms y le está diciendo que quiere decir el idiom. Y luego tiene un listening extra, ¿verdad? Si usted le da play, usted va a escuchar un audio. En base a ese audio le aparecen una serie de preguntas. 
Y usted solamente va a ir escogiendo cuál es la correcta. Si está correcta, le va a decir en verde. Si no, se lo va a poner en rojo. This is general listening up in day. Sí, va. Dice, listening exercise. Sí, upon day. Upon day, sí. Vale. Entonces, después de que usted haya escuchado y tratado de resolver el ejercicio, si usted se va hasta abajo de cada ejercicio, usted va a ver un cuadrito que dice Sí, listening script. Ese está hasta abajo. Sí, script, sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Si usted le da clic a eso, usted va a tener la oportunidad de escuchar y leer lo que ya había escuchado primero. Ah. Pero yo le recomiendo, primero solo escuche unas dos, tres veces, haga el ejercicio y después de eso va, se viene acá a hacer la comprobación, no al revés. Normalmente tenemos la costumbre de que, ah, lo vemos escrito y si no, ah, lo voy a escuchar y lo voy a ir leyendo. Gabriel, el problema que tenemos, el problema que tenemos es que estamos muy acostumbrados al español. Entonces vamos a ir relacionando lo que leemos con el español que ya conocemos. Por eso le digo primero, listen, 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 and solve. Escucha y trata de resolver. Luego, listen and read. Luego, mm -hmm. escuchar y leer. ¿Ok? Ok. Y cuando haya terminado el ejercicio, ahí le da la opción. Back to listening activity, es regresar a la primera actividad que hicimos, o... Back to Easy Quiz, que es regresar al listado general. ¿Ok? Ok. Voy a... Pruébelo. Pruébelo. Voy a usarlo. Me cuenta. Pues iba a probarlo porque... Sí, yo, yo sí me siento a veces... Este, eh, me siento normal. Mal. Don't worry. Y la idea con esto es ayudarlo. ¿Ok? Quiero okay. que comencemos con los fáciles. Eso sí, yo le recomiendo haga uno o dos al día. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. En sus ratos libres. Dos... Máximo, no más. ¿Por qué? Porque si usted hace mucho, se va a llenar de demasiado vocabulario. Y nos pasa aquello de que el que mucho abarca, ¿verdad? Por querer agarrar mucho, no vamos a agarrar de nada. Entonces, mejor, poquito vocabulario, pero que se nos quede. Ok, ¿Okay? de acuerdo. Bueno, ok, thank you. Espero les sirva. Ok, thank you. A pleasure, you. have a good night. Good night.
Okay, time's up. See you tomorrow.